What's good everyone, it's Yaya back with a new video, Soul Calibur 6. It's literally Tekken, but with weapons, and so much more. One of my first fighting games was Soul Calibur 2 on the GameCube with Link being a playable character, and it was one of the first memorable guest appearances throughout all of fighting game history for me. In 2017 going into 2018, guest appearances are going to be crazy. I mean, we got knockers from Final Fantasy 15 and Tekken 7, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles appearing in Injustice 2, and then we have Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle with four different animal styled fighting games. But Soul Calibur has always been the recent king of guest characters' appearances with Ezo Auditori in Soul Calibur 5 and Yoda Dark Vader Starkiller in Soul Calibur 4. But who will be Soul Calibur's sixth guest character? We'll hold up! I'm about to hit y'all with five characters I believe should be the next guest character in the upcoming 2018's Soul Calibur 6. Without further ado, let's get right into that video. Alright, coming to number five is Link Breath of the Wild. Alright, let's go ahead and get this one out the way. I know the producer said Soul Calibur 6 wasn't planned for the Nintendo Switch, but if it happens, Link gotta be that guest character. Zelda Breath of the Wild is 2017's Game of the Year, and it'll work wonderful for Bandai Namco. Link's intro could be him on the new motorcycle, and he has a huge arsenal from bow, weapons, and orbs, and all types of things that can work both keep away and mainly weapons to fight up close as well. He can be a mixture character who zones and also fights very good on offensive play. Honestly, by this game being published by Bandai Namco, I think the Tales of series should be noted as one of the best franchises of all time. Luke Von Fraubray would be a wonderful character to experiment with, like how Tekken experimented with Akuma from Street Fighter series being introduced. We already had a Tales of character in the Soul Calibur franchise. In Soul Calibur Legends 2, we had Lloyd from Tales of Symphonia. I think Luke could tie into the story so how if Raphael was present and playable. Shameless blog. For the number three spot, I want that boy Guts from Berserk. All right, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I was thinking somebody that was a, the real black swordsman and who had a big ass sword that's not Cloud or someone from Xenoblade Chronicles. Then it hit me, anime. Guts is a, just a badass character overall, and I think he will be an amazing addition. He will have a lot of armor-like capabilities. Though, so watch out and his Berserker mode can increase his combo capabilities. Look at that face. Look at Berserk. Look at Guts. It's Fleet. For my number two pick, Lucina, Fire Emblem Awakening, or Super Smash Bros. for 3DS or Wii U. This is oddly my most weird pick for the roster. If Nintendo doesn't be stingy, she could be a really awesome addition. Just picture her versus my boy Zorantes in the trailer. She have a straightforward move set and she doesn't just use the sword. Lucina was always noted to be looked as a swordman who can poke at long range but being slow and defensive. Meaning she may have range but a lot of moves could be minus and could work out really well for her. A really solid character and a really fan favorite from the Fire Emblem franchise. And last, but not least, we got the homie, the GOAT, Nier Automata 2B. Alright, to be honest, this is my game of the year from 2017. 2B is like another badass from Platinum Games that's not Bayonetta in all fairness. She is a robot chick with a snarky attitude and this will be a huge marketing aspect to have a lot of fans who are not into fighting games start probably picking them up and playing them. We already got Knockers in Tekken 7, so what about the rivalry continues with 2B and Soul Calibur 6? That being said, comment, rate, subscribe, Yaya out. If you like this video, hit the like button. Follow me on Twitter. All my social medias are in the description. And you guys are golden, and that is wrong.